good morning to all the student i course coordinator professor a k chikyal welcome you all the first online lecture of the subject strength of material all the students of mechanical engineering third semester are hereby requested all the students of mechanical engineering third semester are hereby requested to attend the lecture regularly next slide mark scheme as per syllabus mark scheme has been divided broadly into two part a theory part b practical part in theory part we have end semester exam which is of 70 marks maximum and minimum 28 marks has to be scored to pass in that exam the internal assessment we have is a progressive assessment in which we have class test and micro project in class test we generally take two class test and we take the average marks obtained out of the two class test micro project has to be done either in a group or individually so out of a maximum marks of 10 on the basis of project on the basis of regularity marks will be obtained dear student this class test marks and micro project marks is quite helpful in enhancing your score so please be serious about it also so in a theory out of 100 maximum marks minimum 40 marks has to be scored to pass in this subject b practical if we have end semester exam which is of 25 marks and minimum 10 marks this end semester exam is been conducted at the end of the semester basically a oral or a viva exam wherein the external examiner from other college basically faculty from other college comes and take your oral exam out of 25 minimum 10 marks has to be scored for passing second is progressive assessment which is out of 25 marks minimum 10 marks has to be scored this progressive assessment is again internal assessment being done by the respective subject coordinator for your performance in practical in that semester and on the basis of timely completion of your practical book or your manual in all 12 practical has to be run and your attendance also is considered while giving the marks so dear student this is your mark scheme as per syllabus next slide in next slide we will discuss a bit about syllabus we have total 6 unit The first unit is moment of inertia. As per MSBTE, the time allotted is four lecture, and the probable weightage mark is six. Here I mentioned probable weightage mark. This is given nowhere from any uh, official record, but this mark is mentioned here by the course coordinator. That is by me. to give you the significance in terms of exam orientation this weightage has been concluded on the basis of the previous year's question paper this weightage marks has been concluded on the basis of previous year's question paper so for second unit simple stresses and strain 
number of lecture 8 probable weightage 10 marks the third mechanical properties and elastic constant of metal number of lecture 8 and probable weightage mark 8 number 4 shear force and bending moment and shear stress bending stress number of lecture 16 and probable weightage mark 28 here i would like to mention that unit 4 is the biggest unit of all and therefore it has more weightage also number 5 torsion number of lecture 6 and probable weightage marks 8 unit 6 direct and bending stress number of lecture 6 and probable weightage mark 10 so total of number of lecture is 48 and total marks in end semester is 70 i have deliberately mentioned here probable weightage mark because some minor deviation in terms of question being asked in exam may be there so one question from one topic may be increased some question from other topic may be decreased so, so it is just a probable weightage mark i hope this is clear to the student now to the next slide course outcome course outcome now what is course outcome this course outcome is mentioned in msbte syllabus course outcome is the outcome one student derived or he becomes after learning this subject after undergoing the practical training how his aptitude as far as is this subject that is strength of material how his knowledge how his skill how his psychometer psychomotor trait improves and how he becomes more capable and more fit to perform a job in industry so this outcome is more of or uh, outcome for the society an outcome for the job which he is going to perform after learning this in industry so what he is going to learn theoretical and practical let us see first he should be able to compute moment of inertia of symmetric and asymmetric structural section second estimate simple stresses in machine component third to perform test to evaluate mechanical properties according to indian standard now this perform test generally we have a theoretical unit unit number two and three wherein mechanical properties are considered and in practical also we have different tests like compression test tensile test torsion test and so on to evaluate mechanical properties according to indian standard so next slide now course outcome the student should be able to compute shear force and bending moment and corresponding bending stress in beam subject to point and uniform distribution load. He should be able to estimate stresses in shaft under twisting moment. Now this part theoretically is covered in the fifth unit torsion and we have a practical on torsion also in the practical lab. The sixth path, estimate stress in short member subject to eccentric load. This part is covered theoretically in unit number six, bending, sorry, direct and bending stresses. So I hope you have got a fair idea of what you expect from this subject 
what you want to get from this subject how this subject is beneficial for you in industry what are its application at very superficial level i have tried to explain this and hopefully and gradually you will able to understand the significance of this subject you will able to correlate it this to industry as we continue uh, gradually with this course next slide now our first unit is moment of inertia okay before we directly go to the new topic of moment of inertia we will study some of the basic some basic which we have studied in applied mechanics in unit 6 that is moment of inertia moment of area i'm sorry moment of area now some basic what are the basic yes center of gravity center of gravity is defined as the point at which the whole weight the whole weight of body is supposed to act next centroid centroid is defined as the point at which the whole weight of the lamina is supposed to act we have studied in applied mechanics that center gravity center of gravity this term is used for a solid body having volume that is three dimensions are there then breadth height you may say for centroid it is for a plane lamina that is it is a plane whose thickness is negligible so we have here two dimensions x y length breadth okay any two dimension so when there is a simple plane we use the word or we use the term centroid and when there is a solid body having volume we use center of gravity i hope this basic is already clear you and we already have a revision of it fine next slide basic of moment of area again in applied mechanics we have studied this basic on the basis of wernicke's theorem of moment we have studied moment of area it is defined as the algebraic sum of moment of individual areas about any axis of reference is equal to moment of area about the same axis i will elaborate and explain this in the next slide next slide now this diagram i will in brief try to explain this diagram uh, this diagram is already covered in applied mechanics we have o as origin ob as one axis somewhat similar to x axis but we have taken the different name then we have oa oa as y axis then we have a plane lamina in the uh some uh what you say irregular uh shape which is named as a then we see small dot a1 a2 a3 a4 this small dot are nothing but elementary bodies small part of that complete a let's take a1 a1 is somewhere located how it is located its distance with oa is x1 its distance with ob is y1 now when we say this distance it is the distance of centroid of a1 with the reference axis oa and reference axis ob this we have already studied now this is the diagram the previous one was a definition now as in engineering anywhere we always need to have mathematical expression of the concept we do so let us study the mathematical expression next slide
the mathematical expression of moment of area a y is equal to a 1 y 1 plus a 2 y 2 plus a 3 y 3 and so on till a n y n a x is equal to a 1 x 1 plus a 2 x 2 plus a 3 x 3 plus and so on till a n x n where a is area of composite lamina section y distance of centroid from ob axis x distance of centroid from o axis already we have this has been mentioned in the diagram fine so we will move to the next slide 